Good Morning Midnight is a novel by Jean Rhys, published in 1939. The narrative revolves around Sasha Jansen, a woman in her late 30s who returns to Paris, where she lived years before. Sasha is emotionally scarred, having experienced a series of personal tragedies, including the death of her child, estrangement from her husband, and the pain of a largely solitary existence marked by poverty and alcoholism. The story unfolds non-linearly, with the present experiences in Paris interwoven with flashbacks that offer a glimpse into Sasha's past. As she navigates the streets of Paris, her memories surface sporadically, revealing the sources of her despair and her attempts at navigating a life marred by loss and societal alienation. Sasha's return to Paris is essentially an endeavor to face her past, and seek some form of redemption or closure. She hopes that by revisiting the city where she experienced both happiness and sorrow, she can find a way to move forward. Sasha checks into a hotel using a false name, hinting at her desire to escape her identity and the burden of her past. Her days and nights in Paris are spent in a cyclical routine of wandering, observing, drinking, and reflecting. She frequents cafes and encounters various characters, including the gigolo René, with whom she enters a practically transactional relationship. These interactions are strained and underscore her detachment from others and her struggle to create meaningful connections. Amidst her journey, Sasha is confronted by the starkness of her own vulnerability. Her efforts to maintain a semblance of control and dignity are repeatedly undermined by her self-doubt and the indifference or cruelty of those around her. The city itself seems imbued with a mixture of nostalgia and coldness, reflecting Sasha's internal conflict and desolation. Sasha's vulnerability is further exemplified by her meeting with a former lover, Enno, which dredges up painful memories. Rather than offering solace, this reunion serves to reinforce her sense of isolation and the futility of trying to amend her fractured life. Throughout the novel, Sasha's interactions and recollections are tinged with the theme of disconnection, both from herself and from the world around her. The deep introspection that colors her perceptions manifests as a profound examination of identity, gender, and the societal expectations placed on women. She grapples with her role in a world where she feels neither useful nor genuinely wanted. Sasha's internal struggle is mirrored in Reese's portrayal of Paris, once romanticized by Sasha, but now seen through a lens of bitterness and disillusionment. The city is not just a backdrop, it is nearly a character in itself, representing the fluctuating states of hope and despair that characterize Sasha's existence. Riss employs sparse yet poignant prose to illustrate the fragility of Sasha's psyche. The writing is often stream of consciousness, with Sasha's fleeting thoughts and images blending into one another, exemplifying her sporadic mental state. As the story reaches its climax, Sasha is offered a glimpse of potential stability through an interaction with a Russian emigre who proposes a future beyond her current despair. However, Sasha remains unsure if she can lift herself out of the darkness that has enveloped her for so long. On the final night depicted in the novel, Sasha prepares to go out with the gigolo René, painstakingly applying makeup to create an exterior that masks her internal turmoil. The process is meticulous and serves as a metaphor for the facade she presents to the world. Yet even as she creates this illusion of composure, Sasha is beset with a sense of impending catastrophe. Rene leads Sasha to a bar where they meet with other men, and she consumes a significant amount of alcohol. As her mind becomes increasingly clouded, her thoughts turn fragmented and chaotic, mirroring her descent into inebriation and potential loss of consciousness. The novel's conclusion is ambiguous. Sasha's fate is left uncertain, with the final scenes suggesting either a psychological breakdown or a kind of surrender to her circumstances. In the last passages, we are left with an image of Sasha in her room, her solitude palpable and profound, as she is visited by a man, presumably the Kamas voyageur, whose intentions are unclear, but whose presence seems to signal a further erosion of Sasha's autonomy and self-respect. Whether this encounter represents a continuation of her cycle of self-destruction or a dramatic end to her suffering is not explicated. Good Morning Midnight is a powerful exploration of alienation, existential angst, and the quest for identity in a world that often feels unyielding and cruel.
Sasha Jansen's story is a poignant illustration of the human condition and a profound commentary on the search for meaning in the face of overwhelming adversity. Jean Ress, poetic and incisive prose, elevates the narrative, leaving readers with a haunting meditation on the nature of existence and the endurance of the human spirit, however battered it may be.